So we're going to be doing some outdoor yoga, which I love. Now, practicing any kind of meditative yoga or breath work in nature is about more than just having a nice view to enjoy. It's been proven there are numerous health benefits to grounding in nature, bare feet in the dirt, taking in the wisdom of the ancient trees, and no one knows that better than designer turned yoga expert Sabrina Smelko, who has made like the best choice ever moving out west. We followed along with the beautiful house reno and the building of the house from scratch. And now we're following your yoga adventure. Sabrina, how are you? I am very excited to be here. And I think everyone feels probably the same where it's been a really big year. It's been kind of a crazy few years. And I think one thing we can all agree on is that we all want to feel better. We all want to be a little healthier, a little bit happier. So you're 100% correct. Being in nature has so many benefits and in so many ways it actually helps our bodies scientifically. But it's been found that when grounding in nature is combined with intentional movement, breath work or pranayama and meditation, we can actually compound these benefits and something that happens instantly, our cortisol, which is our stress hormone drops completely. So today I wanted mm. to take you to some of my favorite spots in the beautiful great outdoors here in BC so we can practice some yoga together. I am so excited about this. It's not just about looking like Sabrina in the cute yoga gear. It's actually about lowering that cortisol. So we're going to go to the first location, but first I need a friend. So T is here. Come on in here with me. Let's do some yoga. Yes. And okay, Sabrina, where are we going to first? The forest is a beautiful spot to practice yoga in. And we are just off of the Sea to Sky Trail here in Whistler. Whether I'm practicing yoga or I just want to come out here for a breath and just to relax, you could not pick a more serene spot and there is ample space to spread out, meditate and practice your yoga. Today we're going to do one of my favorite asanas, tree pose. Beginning in mountain pose with your feet hips distance apart, start by looking down at your right foot. Lift your toes if you can, give them a little wiggle and then re-grip the earth. Bringing all the weight into that right leg, start opening up that left knee and then bring the sole of your left foot either onto your shin or as high up on your right thigh as you can, being careful not to lean it directly on your knee joint. Once you've found a little bit of balance, keep thinking about tracking that left knee wide open. And if you can, bring your hands to heart center and just hold here for a few breaths. Your hands can either remain at heart center or you can grow your tree and extend them wide. If you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, you can even try challenging yourself by closing your eyes. And when you're ready to come down, bring your hands back to heart center if they were extended, and then lowering that left leg to the ground. Give everything a nice shake, and then repeat on the other side. Okay, all right. What a little bit of yoga there. You like that was very good, Sabrina. What'd you think, Ooh, T? That, that, that's as far as I could go. I think. <laughs> I was losing my balance already. When she said, close your eyes, I was like, woo. Right, what you, but you did it. So good on you. Thanks, T. Thank you. Very nice. I'm out now. I'm going to go. Very nice. Okay, Sabrina, where are we headed to next? We are now at the Squamish Estuary, where we're going to practice goddess pose, which is a really powerful asana to do anywhere by the water. So to start, bring your feet as wide as you can, toes out 45 degrees, and then find a nice deep squat. You want to just be able to peep your toes over your knees and keep trying to track those knees as wide and out as you can. Bring your hands to heart center. And while you take a few breaths, think about elongating your spine, slightly tucking your tailbone and really engaging your abs. On your next inhale, straighten your legs, elongate your arms to the sky, reach up, look up. And on your exhale, sink right back into the posture, hands at heart center, nice deep bend to the knees. Working with your breath, inhale, rise, expand, exhale, sink. On your next inhale, see if you can come up onto your tippy toes even for a second and come back into the squat. Just challenging your balance, working at your limit, whatever feels good for you. Very nice work, I'm loving these. Okay, last but not least, you've got another like gorgeous view for us and another yoga move. Where are we going next? Our last asana is a great detox twist, which I love to finish my practices on, just to ensure that I'm wringing out all of the toxins in my body, especially in our intestine and inner organs. 
We are at the top of the Chief on this beautiful day from the Sea to Sky Gondola. Starting off in mountain pose, feet are hips distance apart. Bring your hands to your heart center and inhale your right knee into your chest. Take a big breath and as you exhale, step that right leg as far back as you can, finding a nice deep lunge. Hands are at heart center. Press them towards each other so your elbows are really splayed out to the sides. Take a big in-breath, lengthen your spine, and as you exhale, twist from your lower spine, then your mid spine, then your upper spine. Find your right elbow hooked onto the outside of your left knee and use that push to help your twist. Breathing here. When you're ready, coming out as gently as you came in, gently unhook your elbow, body back to center, and then step that right foot up to meet your left. Nice work. Shake it off and repeat on the other side. Ooh, very good. I love that. And one thing I can't do here is have a mountain behind me or a forest. So I really, really thank you for taking us to these beautiful spots. Now, Sabrina, you're not only living the life from a decor perspective, you're also living your life from a fitness perspective. And you've got some pretty exciting news that you want to share with us. What's going on? Yeah, so I wanted to talk about your daily life practices, right? Because I feel like those are the small shifts that we can really make and cultivate those healing modalities and practices. The more that we can infuse that into our day-to-day -day life, I think the more healthy and happy we will all be. So I have bottled these natural compounds. I have been working really hard for the past six months, and I have just launched my new digital online wellness business. Yay! It is called Healer, H-E-E-L-R. <laughs> And you can tap into Healer anytime to receive vibrational healing and shop our line of 100% natural products made in Canada. So really, really feel good. It's inspired by my blue healer. I'm sure you can kind of hear the alliteration in the name. Yeah. And it combines all of my passions. I've been training in yoga and pranayama, um, more for just a personal hobby since I was 14 years old. And finally, I feel as though I've kind of come full circle and I'm able to help other people with this. And I'm really excited to bring it to the community. Like we yeah. can all feel better. We can all be in more control of our bodies. This is such good advice. And I can't think of any time that we've needed this advice more. So like your timeliness is perfect. Your location is perfect. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of fans and followers of this new uh, wellness routine in, I don't know, three, two, one. So thank you so much, Sabrina. We appreciate that. <laughs> So good. Thank you so much.